Hey, what's your campus and welcome back to my channel. So I got a question regarding the RODI that I use or the DI resins that I use. And in today's video, because uh, just nice we are going to uh, switch out the resin, I thought that maybe probably is a good uh, opportunity to actually do the video and so that you guys can actually see uh, what are some of the things that we use to actually save water in terms of our DI system. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just set this thing down. I'm just going to set this thing down. I'm just going to show you guys on the, this is our system. It's a very simple, uh, you know, this is just sediment filter. And then we have uh, one carbon and two resins. So today we are going to swap out these two resins and one carbon. And the reason is, is because, you know, the TDS has been creeping up. And, you know, it's time to actually do the change. So with that, you know, what we... No, this is very important. So we have this in handy. Actually, we have quite a bit of them. So just take your pick, and then you're gonna move them out. So normally, what I do is that I will just put a basin, uh, a, a bucket below the the system, and then it's a very simple, um, you know, push over here, and then you can actually get it to open. And just want to catch the falling water. And that's the reason because we don't want to flood the whole place and it's very simple so we just twist it out twist it out oops here we go and then this is the uh, this is actually the the carbon that we use so what we use is a um, activated carbon in the sense that it is also the using bamboo so Every time when I change this, I actually swap out all the uh, swap out all the resins plus the carbon as well. Um, we have moved away from the uh, contact version of you know the mesh type of uh, carbon, and one of the reasons is that it doesn't have a high temperature. I mean, this is not for 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 northern hemisphere countries. Uh, this is more for <coughs> countries that like Singapore. You know, is very hot. And we actually have to use something that is able to withstand the uh, the temperature, the heat temperature, because this is going to be hot in Singapore, and the water is going to be hot. And and in there, you can actually see, you know, in there, uh, it's just a, I think it's two sponges, or just one sponge, and then it has these uh, granules. It's a uh, bamboo charcoal. So I think so far we have been switching over to this. Uh, um, carbon I think this is really really good um, just pop it right in just make sure that it's the correct uh, placement so what's up so this is how we gonna change so it's very straightforward you just have to pop this and then on the next one we will be uh, uh, removing the resin so this one is a little bit more tricky um, however we also use the exact same uh, carbon housing I'm just going to remove this yeah, put it in the, in the sink right here I'm make a mess out of it okay and I'm going to remove this this is where the resin uh, cartridge is just a simple move just it Are there so ooh, got it. So this is where we put our resins in here. And there's when, when you remove the, the housing you actually have still some uh, residue there's still some water in there. So let it let it flow out. Let it flow out. And once it's flown out, you know what you can do is that you just give it a good shake. Give it a good shake and then you just dump all the contents in the back so it's you know we try to get it clean so what i do is that i will usually just give it a good wash and remove the excess of it so it's actually empty uh, it has a sponge below so it's to prevent the the eye resins to actually get um, you know, get out of it and then into the system. So this is how we do it. 
And then I'm gonna move the next one. I'm gonna open that. So normally I would just open all of them and then move them towards the uh, and then uh, fill them up. So it's much quicker that way. So all in all, I think uh, we can get this changed within you know about ten minutes. But how often we change this is depending on the the amount of usage. Um, so I would recommend that this is not being used or maybe this is just a Singapore Singapore problem because it is hot. Uh, we normally don't use or uh, do water change when it's really hot. Uh, the reason is because when the carbon gets uh, get heated up, it actually release, releases some of this content back into the water column and the TDS you can actually see, uh, it will actually creep up and it's gonna be very high. So that's the reason why we do not encourage uh, doing water changes when they are, the weather is hot. But like I say, this is more, more for countries that, you know, more for countries that is, is hot like Singapore. And we are done over here. So what we're gonna do now is I actually have this, this, this resin. This resin is actually a mixed bed resin. I actually use a, um, airtight container I'm gonna release the air and actually I'm just gonna pan down uh, just release the air release the air over here and then I can open up and voila got it so what we're gonna do now just gonna put this right down here so you guys can see what am I doing it's actually to fill up the uh, the, the containers with with uh, with the mixed bed resins so I actually use a you know a ceramic uh, diatom type of so it doesn't stick the resin doesn't stick so what I do I just you know fill it up uh, fairly simple the trick over here is actually not to have it too too packed to the all the way to the top because the way that the resin work is that is by contact uh, it, re it release uh, it removes the uh, cation and anion of the water molecules and if let's say we are packing it too tightly the sponge on the very top that we use will get um, con uh, in, uh, you know it, it suppresses the, the the sponge which then allow the resin beads to actually get out of the water so that is a thin line between sufficient and two pack so what i do is that i normally knock them give it a good knock and usually i just put it you know to the to where the uh, sponge will actually sit nicely so we do not want too much of this dent in in the sponge the reason is because if it's too too much it actually is uh you know squashes and then it's out of the uh the the, the shape and the resin can can actually come out so normally i just put it uh, fairly high uh, up to here and then I just put a sponge back in just do a cover a quick cover and then just put the next one so how often we actually use this I mentioned um, we normally have about on a good run easily 400 400 um, liters of water 400 liters of water is about 100 gallons I think yeah so if you do the calculation, I think 400, sometimes up to even 600 liters of water, it's even possible. However, you know, uh, it also depends on the, like I said, the temperature, the heat that we have here in Singapore is uh, horrendous. It's very, very hot on some of the months, most of the months actually. Um, and it actually lowers the, uh, the usable life of the, the resins. Uh, one one good advantage of using this uh, resin method is is because it does not have any water um, wastage like RO RO membrane has a fifty percent sometimes thirty percent seventy percent depending on which type you buy and uh, we run it and you know there's a lot of wastage in RO and I think um, there's there's something that we can actually do to actually help save <laughs> you know. Uh, precious water because all this wastewater especially for those who are living in like cities you do not have uh, the luxury of like big gardens or gardens or any anywhere to actually um, 
remove, uh, use all this excess water. So what you actually do is that you pour away the water. So like I mentioned in some of the videos, uh, some of the uh, breeders that that actually you know uses the RO, they are their spouses are not very happy with them with collecting buckets and buckets of of water. So now we are done. I'm just going to quickly just close this. So we don't want air to go in. Let's remove this. Give it a good wipe. Come right over here. On the floor. I'm going to close this. Just going to put this back up. Okay, we are almost done. Just wanted to pump out the air. Pump out the air on the container. So that I vacuum seal the uh, so I vacuum seal this 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 thing. Just gonna put it back here. Make this a little bit straight. And guys are gonna have tilted heads. Alright, so now it's done. Remember to put the correct way. So what I, I have over here is actually there's a um, there's a there's a brand over here as a name. It has I just have to remember that it has to be face upright. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna put this aside. We're gonna give it a good wipe over here. Floor, put it up there. You're gonna do a test. Just gonna pan this now in the rear. So there will be uh, just turning on all the necessary valve. We don't want to flood this. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna run, run a bit of this water. I'm gonna run this because it's empty. The the canisters are empty now. Um, so we're gonna let it run, run through, and then either we you know pipe it in or we test the TDS over here. I think. Let's see. Let's wait for the water to come out, and then we'll be able to know uh, in terms of the TDS. I can actually feel the air. So it's actually filling all the, so it's over here already. You can actually see that it's uh, it's coming down the TDS. Is that, yeah. So which means that now it's a, uh, it's a good time to actually have, uh, to do a water change. Over here because we have, just gonna put this and pan this up. We actually have this, over here, I'm just gonna turn one knob here, and then you can actually see what's the in. Okay, so we're gonna. So the in is 57 TDS, and the out, like I mentioned, is going to start coming down once that is clear. You know, when all the water is clear, you can actually see that. Now it's coming out, coming out, coming down, coming down, and and it's done. The zero ppm water coming into this tank. So all is done within 15 minutes. You can now um, do you know uh, another 200, 300 liters, depending on how 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 much mileage you can actually get in terms of the uh, the raisins. I use a mixed bed raisins, and this is fairly simple. You can do it yourself at home. You can gonna save a lot of water, and I really you know encourage people to actually uh, you know breeders to actually think about this because it's, it's gonna save a lot of resource as well. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you have like, if you, you know uh, learn something from this video, please remember to give a thumbs up. And if you need to you know uh, look at some of this content, uh, please remember to write in the comment section below. And until next time, peace out.